Hi, you guys. Welcome back. So, I'm going to do the long angle because, honey, I need y'all to see me. You feel me? Because, there you go. And thank you guys. I'm first of all, before I even get into this video, thank you guys. The ones that have been commenting, I liking my hair and whatnot, or whatever. They are like your locks, but they're not real, though. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm transitioning, but you guys know it or not. I haven't even told you guys that yet, but I'm getting into it. But I definitely am transitioning um, to locks because you guys know I do make and sell lock extensions and I do know how to do them. And so. I'm gonna get me some lock. I'm, I'm gonna put lock extensions in my hair. Only thing is, I love my beautiful natural. Y'all haven't seen my real hair in a while, and um, I don't even know if you guys even know this, but I have noticed. Um, as you get older, your hair texture changes, whether it's thickens, thins, the pattern of it gets softer or whatever. Mine is very silky soft wavy curly freaking hair literally and I love it and how pretty my curls are this, this is my hair this is my hair that's my hair right there and it's so silky soft you guys This been my these braids underneath there, not the weave because, but the, my extra plaits in my hair, they've been in my hair at least five months now, four or five months now, or more. Okay, and this is <laughs> this is my hair. I haven't combed it out or anything because it, it actually is trying to, it's actually trying to mat itself together. I can see where it's trying to mat together at. And baby, that we're not doing that, not yet. Because I want my actual lock hair to be curly. My actual locks to be curly. See how I just twisted that? It just does that. So imagine if I just use some water on it. I don't, I don't use, I can't use nothing but water because it's going to hold. My hair is going to be slicked down. But anyways, you see, you can, you see that? It's beautiful, curly. My, my whole head is like that. Hair is like that. But anyways, so, um, yeah, I'm definitely transitioning and I love it. And you guys, my weight, my weight is, listen, I'm with eating, I'm off and on with it. One day, a couple days, I may be weak, so, so I may be doing perfect to the sea, doing what I'm supposed to do. And then I'll fall off the bandwagon. And guys, what you guys do anyway, it's life. It, it's, shit's going to happen. You're not going to be perfect all the time. And then, hey, so. But anyway, my, most, my, my, my weight loss target area is my stomach okay that's my the most the, the most weight on my body is in my stomach okay because everything else i love and i like that's just the bottom line um and when i gain my weight it goes to my stomach and my also i be feeling bloated my, my stomach be feeling sore on the inside but let me tell me i need a complete detox that's the problem i need a complete detox i need a colon cleanse i need a gut cleanse and wash out all that old waste okay okay because yeah so anyway so i want to talk about this because clearly <laughs> a bitch want a box okay a bitch was want a box but you know the the the, the old avis well i'm still the old avis bitch because i don't get it twisted but the old avis was just went slap the fuck out when the new grown woman avis I can't help but laugh at some of the foolishness that you guys write. Now I'm talking about good people because I, I, one thing about me and my channel, I acknowledge everyone, whether it's good or bad, whether it's constructive criticism or whatever, I acknowledge everyone's comment, whether it's me commenting back or me just leaving a heart. One thing about me, and no one can say I don't, one thing about me, I'm going to leave a heart on your comment to let you know I read it. Period. Because I'm not gonna read a comment and they don't put nothing. I'm, well, well, okay, looking, I'm looking at this guy eating his food, so because I'm over here waiting on my food to get done, because I'm ready to eat myself. I'm giving some fried livers and some French fries. You know, chicken livers. Oh my God! If you're from the south, then you know. If you don't know, then baby, you need to know. So, and I got my hot sauce on deck. It's the same day as the hot sauce video, and it got me some Texas Pete. They need to sponsor me. Come through. And um, 
But anyway, I see somebody want to tussle. When they want to tussle, when it come when it comes to my man, my man, my man, my man, my Avis man, wrong bitch. You want to tussle by my man? I'm gonna post because I'm gonna start doing this, and then, trust me, it's not gonna be just negative comments. Comments. It be it's gonna be possible. I just want to acknowledge this one because when you do that, people want to start leaving more negative comments, which I don't care because I'm gonna like it. I'm gonna comment back, or maybe I just won't comment. I just I just like it. But one thing about it, you will not get blocked. Or anything because the old was block bitches and whatever. Bitch, you write what you feel. You don't have to like me, but you gonna watch me. And when you're watching me, you engaging with me. And when you do that, guess what? My bag goes up. I know a lot of YouTubers that don't even comment back to people. They comment section look like y'all sinners from hell. They don't comment back. They don't like it or nothing. I'm the person. I'm gonna like him. But you know, I saw it, but I don't give a damn. I'm, you see, I'm, I'm not trying to curse because I'm trying to change in my life. I may say cuss words here and there. I'm not perfect. I'm not saying I'm holier than thou, but baby, I'm changing daily. So <laughs> it's a grown age. I don't care what you say. You can talk about me, my mama, my kids, my husband, my grandma, my whatever. But guess what? It does not bother me because baby, it's words. That kind of stuff don't get under my skin. So feel free to say what you please. But this comment right here, I'm gonna post it. Baby, it got it must be got you in a, a chokehold about my man because you believe it. that's all you do is leave comments about my man and my children. Baby, y'all don't you don't even see my kids. Okay. <laughs> they may get posted on here once, what? I don't even fucking know because Last time I posted my kids was when? I don't even know. But it's okay that I got you all in your feelings. So therefore, since you in your feelings, you can comment, you can engage. And when you engage, you boosting up my ratings. So baby, come on with it. Okay? But the thing is, let me tell you something else. So, um, who I was referring to is because this is not dissing them in no way, shape, or form. Because I like all three of these ladies. And my opinion is my opinion, and what I'm and I'm going off on what I see, and I'm going off of what I be reading in comments because I read comments. Other people, other YouTubers I, I watch, I may not comment, but I definitely read comments. But once again, like I can say definitely one. I'm definitely my my friend, but um, I'm going to name drop. But once again, it's no disrespect to any of these three ladies, so. But one of one of Audi three, I do see them comment back on the other social media. But let me tell you this: it is Prissy, Prissy P, P, which I love her. To, I love her. That's my girl for years. Not like I said, not this. Be love and Yummy Bites. Now, someone compared me to Yummy Bites today. I'm gonna get into that because that's a whole that's a video for today. And uh, a girl was in P comment section is going off like a week or so ago. I, I always, I always find myself arguing with their, with their subscribers because the shit that they say kind of get under my skin. Cause like, cause technically it's, it's crazy because what they say to them, I guess, cause what well, it, it was P who I always argue with people on her shit because she reminds me of my brother, not how she looks her spirit reminds me of my brother that's how when i first saw her i clicked with her online and so when we got together y'all saw me for the first time i ran and dived on her it was like me meeting my own family literally it's like you'll think i'll probably shy and stuck up when we first meet but i ran and dived on her i was so jump on top of her okay but it was someone going out there talking about p is fake as fuck she never respond with her her subscribers she never support one who support her and as far as like um other youtubers and because she never comment back with it i'm like mm. so it bothered me i, I was it had some work with them on tiktok and then on yummy bites um i had some i had got banned we got to when i told y'all i was banned on you instagram i was banned because i went off on somebody on yummy bites 
um, channel page on her t on her Instagram going off with them because them bitches and she going off with them because they had pissed me off because they had said some shit about her that kind of rubbed me the wrong way but it wasn't to me but it was to them but it bothered me and um, the same thing with B but I didn't get banned because it was on YouTube but the thing is B love don't she doesn't this is the pump sack you don't see her comment back to anybody on YouTube which I understand she has thousands of comments but I don't see hearts um yummy she does comment back on her instagram i'm not on her youtube as much but i'm definitely on her instagram and I, i'm always watching her videos on instagram and same thing with p i watch her stuff on tiktok i'm not too much on youtube anymore i mean if it, if it comes up then i watch it and browse through whatever case it may be but that's that on that but so i was compared to yummy bites today about how i forced my husband to be doing eating videos with me and um Blase squaze, the baby. Listen, I can't. I can't speak for Yummy, but because that's her life, her marriage, her business, they got nothing to do with me. But once you compare me to someone, then that's when I'm. 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 I'm gonna say something. I don't have to, but I'm going to because y'all love drama on YouTube. So here we go. Because all y'all gonna click on it. Because guess what? It's drama. Y'all love drama. So here you go. It's not drama because I'm not gonna break because I ain't got shit to say negative about none of these ladies. I'm just speaking facts. But um. I can't come what she does on her with her husband because I don't know. But when it comes to my man, my man, my man, I don't force Rome to do shit. Rome will tell you that himself. See, Rome is one way on camera with, with, with me on camera one way, but when we're off camera, Rome is a totally, you know what, one of these days, I'm going to have one of our friends on my channel. Because y'all like, you don't have to explain shit, but I want to. Um, Rome is not the same person who y'all see on camera. Versus who he is in real life. I guess he's very good and great at separating the two. Because who y'all see. Is not even half of what who Rome is. <laughs> Rome is not this quiet shy guy that, that y'all be seeing. That is not Rome. Okay. Rome is, a, Rome is just obnox obnoxious as I am. I'm just bold and out, out there with it. I don't, I gotta be back. Let me go check out my food because it might be done. Hold on. Okay, you guys. I'm back. Not sure where I left off at. But I know, I think I was talking about my husband. But let me show you what liveries look like. Fried liveries. I don't eat the bread. I don't want the bread. These are fried livers and comes with hot sauce, but I have my own hot sauce, so I don't want that. And let's try the liver. Okay. That's on ketchup, though. Kind of, I don't know. I don't know. Kind of like it was in an old grease or something. Hold on. Okay, guys. So let me go ahead and. I don't care for them. I just people don't cook like they used to. Like my God. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. Just because they, they taste like they're fried too hard, or they use old grease. I know they had some ketchup in here, but. Yeah, that was wasting my motherfucking money right now. Cause I don't like that shit. I need ketchup. And all that. To make that taste better, cause. 
That, that, that's not fucking giving. Move your ass on out the fucking way now. Looking like you got all goddamn damn. Clock up in the hook up. Yeah. I think I'm gonna start frying my own liver because. Yeah, I'm gonna do a video and show y'all how to do it. Okay. That right there. That ain't hitting on shit. And literally. Ooh, I don't even wanna talk about it anymore. I eat the damn burn ass fries. But anyway. Me putting who I am and my husband is the wrong person. I don't have to force him to do anything he wanna do. And definitely, it don't matter what a woman does or say. They can't make no man do nothing that uh, he don't wanna do. Make him stay where he don't wanna be at. And damn sure can't keep him. Up. But that shows your mentality and your lack of maturity. If you actually got your thing, thank God. No, I ain't feeling that. I'm, I'm about two sick from throwing it out the window. Y'all will never understand until y'all actually be one and be have nice following behind you. Y'all will never understand. Rock, you us showing you a little clip, slash a little piece of our life. Then you know it's multiple videos. You're not getting what you really think you're getting. You're not. Some people, which I don't, they already rehearse what they're gonna do and what they're gonna talk about, what they're gonna say. Some people put out key points, key cards, and shit like that. Me, my shit is on 100% raw and authentic. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna talk about half the time I turn this camera on. I don't know what the hell, the hell I'm gonna do, or if I'm gonna eat, or whatever the case may be. I just turn my camera on, and just whatever it is, it's gonna be. I always have. Oh, uh, this is a pre-planned mukbang video, like I'm looking to eat something, and of course you gotta plan the food, but I never plan topics. Cause me, like hubby said, my brain is always going it's always running. It never calms down. It, I jump from, I would jump from one thing to one thing to one thing to one thing, one thing, one thing, which is very true. So, I made up my job. I'm going to take take my sister something to eat.
Okay, you guys, I am back. I can't remember what we were talking about. I've been at my job talking to my sister for like an hour and then gave my food away, child, because it was not hitting on nothing. So I went by the store and got me some um, hamburger patties and some chips. So I'm gonna make me a cheeseburger and some, um, you know what I just thought about? I probably shouldn't because I kind of waste my appetite because husband, well, unless he's working later than normal, but he is like, he probably getting off because it's like 4.30 now. He be getting off work with like with the next hour and a half to or two hours. So I think I should probably wait and so we can go to Texas Roadhouse or I can go get some seafood or something versus, um, I gotta ask these by these apartments. Girl, want me to ask them, but I don't see nobody. Um, I could save my appetite, but I could still make these burgers another day. So, anyway, but the bottom line is, y'all gonna do y'all, and we gonna do us. And what I mean by we, I mean us influencers who you watch because influencers as you watch, whether it's TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, whatever. You're going to watch. You're going to say whatever you say. You know, whether it's total BS. Whether it's accurate. Whether it's not. Doesn't matter. You're going to say what you're going to say. Opinions are like a-holes. Everybody have one. Okay? Doesn't mean it necessarily has to be true. But the point is, it doesn't really matter. Long as you keep doing you and doing what makes you happy, which is for the influences, who cares? So most time, I know a lot of people don't like to... Read that but go back to about the be love and everybody else's comments and stuff. A lot of people don't like to read the comments because it can, it can it can be uh uh draining. It could be to depend on depending on what kind of person you are. If you have tough skin and you can let that stuff roll off your back and it just whatever, it won't bother you. But constantly seeing it and make it start may get the wear and tear on you and not understand. Um that's why a lot of people don't read the comments. But it's also good so you can like read, try to read the like the positive ones. If you don't want to read the negative ones, here on YouTube there are settings where you can put in certain keywords that for, therefore um, they will get automatically fla flagged and they will not show up on your page. So say for instance, like um, you go to your settings. And you type in keywords as far as like mean words like fat, fat, ugly, um, greedy, uh, slob, um, any little bit, curse, put in curse words, put in curse, whatever it is, they automatically get, they automatically go to a certain uh, part of your approval so they will not show up on your actual comments at all until you go to that area of your back of your page and read those comments and approve them. They won't show up. So you don't have to worry about seeing them. So therefore, you can only focus on um, focus on um, your positive supporters. You know, you don't have to pay attention to all that other stuff. Put your page under, and that's their engagement because they're commenting on it. So therefore, just put up those trigger words and then do that. I had mine up for years, but at the end of the day, I'm to the point, I don't give a F. Say what you want to say. Cause I'm definitely gonna say what I want to say. So say what you want to say. You feel me? Another thing, I just gotta remember to put that comment in this video because it was, it's two comments actually. And um, and like I said, I'm gonna start posting comments in my video. But for the record, it will not be negative comments posted like that at all. I'm just gonna highlight y'all too because y'all this is gonna be the first episode or whatever me doing this. So I'm because I'm kind of talking about it. So y'all too, big dum dums. Congratulations. Um, you wanted your five minutes of fame. Here you go. So I'm posting those, but the rest of them will be my positive people that have something to say. Whether it's just hey Avis or whatever, I will. I'm going to just highlight you just just for being here to watch me. You don't have to watch me, but you choose to watch me. Everything you do in life is a choice. When you open up your mouth, that's a choice to say something positive or negative. And when you choose to say something negative, remember, it's not behind you, baby. It's ahead of you. 
So on that note, I love you guys. And once again, you three ladies, be love, Chrissy, and yummy. Continue to do you guys. Stay positive. Do what works for you guys. Do what works for you. And also, fourth person, eat with Q. Y'all four ladies, continue to do you. Do what you love. Don't worry about the naysayers and all this other BS because we all get it as influencers. We all get it. Baby, if they like that, if, they, if you ain't talking, you ain't eating. So, baby, y'all continue to stay positive. Do what works for y'all. Ignore them, block them, whatever the case it may be. But at the end of the day, stay blessed, stay beautiful. And that's for all of you guys. And I love you. And I'm out. Bye, you guys.